I'm here with Taylor Rose. I'll put her Instagram. But we are here for a fruit tasting video. And we gonna talk shit. With the tahini and the salt and the shamoy, I'm almost, don't worry about it. We gonna talk about how people are just, our favorite word, weird. We're, yeah, we're gonna talk about like how friendships decline and like, and just relationships. Not just in friendships. General. Yeah, like all types of relationships. Cause like, you know, things change, people change, but like, you're never supposed to do Things that. change, rearrange, but so bitch do I. So yeah, so we're gonna get right into it. We got papaya, we got a yellow mango, and dragon fruit and heart, what is it? It's heart candy grapes. So yeah. And this. No. How should I cut this? Y'all, I'm slow. I got an idea. Stop it. All right, cool. And then this way. No, it's like yeah. And then you know how like okay, Taylor. No, I'm gonna hand. hold this. No, up. move your hand. Okay. No, Stab it a little bit over to the right. Okay. And then yep. This okay. shit's soft. Mhm. Mm Ooh, this is pretty. Pretty. Ooh. <laughs> That's crazy. I like that. Spoon, like they take teaspoons of this and it kills parasites. <laughs> that should look nasty. I'm sorry. It looks like, uh, you know yeah, what? Yeah, rabbit poop. Rabbit poop. Oh my God, you really is my sis. Cause boy, I'm in my mind like, look at these little dookie balls. <laughs> Smells a little strange. Yeah, all of that guy. It looks like caviar or something crazy. Like, yeah, like they had yeah. babies. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, you know what? Bad. I recently just had a birthday, and I just feel like birthdays really set the tone on who fuck with you and who don't, for real. Because people do not really be fucking with you how you think they do. And, like, whoop. granted, <clears throat> life happens. I understand emergencies, you know, happen and. Dr but you grown. But we are so old. Like, just let that be known. Communicate. Just say something. You know, this is not like an everyday event. Like, oh, I want you to come to the club with me or something. And then you just like, girl, I fell asleep. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. And I take a birthday serious, too. And I just had a grandma birthday. So it's important that you show up to the milestone birthdays. Because that first bite. All right, so I'm going to take a first bite with nothing. And then I'll put, like, two. Okay. It's a little tasteless, but then the <laughs> taste is also something. A taste. What does it taste like? Smoky. Somebody put it on the grill. It's giving. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, let me see. We're gonna put some tahini on. Hold on, I really gotta think. Like, let me close we'll, my eyes. And imagine something. No. Mm -mm. Don't put that on there. It tastes like orange, like, cantaloupe. Like, and not honeydew, like. Okay, yeah. It tastes like it want to be cantaloupe, and it's just missing something. It's giving me, like, a banana peel flavor, like. Like. Let's try some. Bitter watermelon. Like when watermelon doesn't have a lot of sweetness to it. But yeah. the, the texture is like really soft. Mm hmm Like cantaloupe and honeydew. Now it's not awful, it's just plain, right? Like, need some seasoning. Try again. I'll say a little bit before the whole mouth. Okay. It could be good. I'm gonna some of that hot sauce. <laughs> Everything good with hot sauce. Some shavamoy. Oh, you said pass your hot sauce? I remember when we went to New York and it was just so busting. Too sexy for that jack. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like whatever you put on it. <clears throat> Not the short moy. We're not doing good right now. <laughs> the setup is very little. The camera is little. Okay. Ah! So now this is my second attempt with the hot sauce and the seasoning. Mm. 
I'm not trying to disrespect no Spanish people on here, okay? I like it better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The flavors are melting on my tongue. <laughs> Mm -hmm. First of all, we smacking. Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. Let me just get off this. Ah! The seed touch. Okay. It tastes like a 10 piece from American Dad now. Okay, because this is what vegans be like. I'm eating hot wings tonight for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually is giving Jack for vibes a little bit. Yeah. So, my rate. For that, I would give it like a six. I'm give it a four. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This looks like someone's heart. I'm right. assuming it's good for your heart. Small. Not hello. Oh my God. You're saving my soul. Oh, that motherfucker feeling. <gasps> it's beautiful. Okay. I didn't know it could peel like that. Look. I feel like it's so rude. Why? It feels like a kiwi. And it peels Ooh, like a kiwi. It's so pretty. Um, he said I'm toxic, call me exotic. It looks like cookies it's like and cream. fruit sprinkles, yeah. All right. Where the fucking flavor? Where's the fucking flavor? What's going on? <laughs> Are these GMO? Are these GMO fruits? Do we have COVID? <laughs> Some, cause I'll cry. No, I just ate those tacos. No. This tastes like water. People be eating the shit like it's, it tastes like something. For real. The drink from Starbucks don't taste like this. Mm -mm. People be putting this on their plate like it's like. It literally tastes like a cucumber. Yeah. It literally tastes like a cucumber. You're right. And like the texture is like. Kiwi. Yeah, kiwi. Exactly. Kiwi. Cucumber. Mm hmm. Let's see if Tahini makes it better. Two two two, y'all. Two two two. No fuck. Disgusting. You gotta do the house ones too. Shamai. No house was big problem. Right. It's refreshing. It is refreshing. It's like a cucumber. Yeah. Definitely that. With chia seeds though. Chia seeds. That's better. Uh it's a three for me. <laughs> yeah, so it's it could, yeah, three. Because it's refreshing. There's no taste whatsoever. It's kinda like the toes, like it's so colorful and cute on the outside. All of them. I feel like it's so it should taste like flying colors, but it doesn't. But this is pretty cool. We can make earrings. Definitely. Oops. Looks like pickled onions. Looks Cheers. so good. But they're a little tender. I feel like they're really nice. And they melt a little soggy, but. Mmm. They're sweet. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like that. Eight out of ten. Because grapes scare me. They be going bad in five seconds. You get it, you go home, it's bad. They're so pretty though, they look like cherries. Not that fast. <laughs> this lady is splitting grapes. Bust some grapes in this mama. <laughs> All right. Mm. <laughs> Because okay. mangoes are Six. one of my favorite fruits on the planet. So if this is not hitting, I wouldn't eat, so I'm gonna cry. Me too. Me too. How's this gonna work? Oh, I think 
I'm from the island. I'm an island boy. She gives me so much anxiety the way she cut him right near her wrist. It's like insane. What if I just. Okay. No, okay. I, you know how your brain tells you this <laughs> yeah. crazy thing? You just be like, what if I just. <laughs> I don't know why I would do that. Just be the end of it, of all. Oh. <laughs> Tastes like a bingo. It's the best one. It's flavor. It's soft. It's not too sweet. And it's not too bitter. It's just right in. Yeah. I like the softness of it. Yeah. This was the best one. We didn't talk about shit we were supposed to, but we can. Mm -hmm. We could finish up eating the rest of the fruit. And then, yeah. So basically, you know. Hello. Sometimes, like in life, like I said, situations are going to show you who's really loyal to you and who really is there for you, who really cares for you. And it's so hurtful when like, it actually happens, but it's the realization that you need to come to. Because like, evil eye is real. You could have people close to you telling, you could tell them everything. They could like know your the depths of your soul and really not like you. And why do certain people do this? I don't know, I wanna say it's like, for their own entertainment. Maybe they don't have a lot going on in their life so they keep you close so that they can be entertained or have something or someone to talk about or whatever the reason maybe. Or, they, or you might just be beneficial. Yeah. You may be bringing a lot to their table and they can't do it without you. So yeah. they keep you around. You might, you might have benefits or something that they don't have and they have to utilize you Season for those specific chicken. things. <laughs> Like chicken <laughs> they might have to, you know, work whatever benefits you might have to their advantage, you know? And so, but in the end, you realize, like, damn, like, they didn't even really fuck with me. You know what I'm But saying? this is the thing, though. Some people in the beginning, they don't really fuck with you. Yeah. They really be genuine in the beginning. Yeah. But they see you got motion or, like, that you get more attention in them or... You know, they see how people really treat you and they like. But one thing I go by is like, envy. Envy and jealousy is two different things though, to me. I feel like jealousy is not harmful, but envy is. I feel like it's a level. Cause I could be jealous, say like, okay, so Taylor got a new car. Happy for it, but I could be like, I'm jealous. Mm -hmm. That's not like, I want to keep her car because she got a new car. Envious is like, I'm going to ruin her life because she got what I want. Type. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what envious drives people to do. Envy is like the the evil of it. Because you could be jealous of things. But it's not like a, you know. you should, But you just got to come to a realization. Like, everybody going to have their part. You do right by people, you're going to get, you're going to get what you deserve. So. But. The white folks been crossing people up. And the thing is, if you're the closest people to you, you always want to keep your enemies close. Please. I feel like it's just so hard for a person to be like, I don't want to fuck with you anymore. Yeah. Because then they're going to have to, like, explain themselves. Like, and the people don't even know how to express, like, they can't just say, listen, at the end of the day, I'm a hater. <laughs> but it's, it's so hard for them to say that, but... Oh, like I literally used to have a friend and when we fell out, she literally listed like everything about me. She did not like anything about me. I'm like, well, why are you my friend then? Really? Yeah. As we're just well. She's like, we have fun. Libra, we have fun together. Da, 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 da. But I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm like, you're not going to like every single thing about a person, but to try to sabotage them. Right. Or throw them under the bus or make them look bad to other people. Like. You should stop I mean, but it's a difference between you, like, I'd rather people, like, if you, if a problem presents itself, let me know mm -hmm. right in there. 
unless we like out in public, you could like pull me to the side. Like, I really don't like how you did that. And I'm like, you know what? You're right, my bad. <laughs> I'm so old. Then it'd be like, I don't like, it's just like, see me when I, when people expire, but they can, you know, they can, you know, get well again. But it's like, when I feel like you're not serving any purpose or you distracting me or something, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to kick with you. I don't, I'll literally cut them off. But sometimes if you handle it right, he's just like, okay, we can regroup later down the line when I'm probably doing a little bit better and, you know, change my surroundings. But if you like, Oh, I'm bitches and hoes right after we call out. This shit is dead. You will never come back from it. You're dead. Fuck. You're dead. You were never my friend. You were never my friend, literally. Because you could have told me anything. If you felt like I was a hoe, you should have told me. <laughs> well, if you felt like I was fake, you should have told me. Because then we could have figured it out. It's a relationship. Every friendship is a relationship. If you want to be me... I can't really help you with that because God made me me and he made you you. And if there's anything that you want to improve about yourself, you should work on those things and try to make me seem lesser than where I am. Because that's what people be on. People be on, you know what, instead of, instead of me improving myself as a person, let me talk shit about the next person. To so make that her look seem, bad. Yeah, like some type of way that they might not even be. Like, you got to be careful about everything you hear because it might be coming from a pure fucking hater. Yeah. And then when you see, say if like, say if you always hear news from one person. So every time somebody hating on you, they tell this person. Watch who the person is because you make these people feel comfortable enough to come to you to talk about me. They literally feel like you're not going to tell me or you probably talking shit too. So, I be watching that too. Like, why, why every time something wrong, they go to you? Why are you able to tell me this? Why do you know this? How, How are they comfortable? Like, you're supposed to be so loyal to your quote-unquote friends that people are not even comfortable talking shit about them to you because they know it's going to get back or they know that you're going to check it right then and there. Like, right. I've never had a friend that people could just go in on, like, in front of my face. I'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I'm saying? Loyalty counts when a person is not standing in the room, not when they're in front of your face. That's not loyalty. That's just literally being fucking courteous. Right. Courtesy, literally. I mean, <laughs> but I'm gonna just break it down to y'all, cause you know we're gonna be on YouTube, we're gonna be real transparent with each other. Y'all gonna know me, y'all gonna know Taylor. So <laughs> my sister, <laughs> blood, going around. Lying on my name and wishing bad on me and saying all types of shit, talking shit, talking big shit. Not even like we used to be friends and she we fell out shit. Like real hater shit. Like even it's just false accusations. Like she said some crazy. It was one thing about a nigga. Like okay, you reporting back to niggas. I don't. Niggas come go, they gonna fuck with you, they not. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. It's the, the, you wishing on my downfall. You praying on my downfall. And I put you in positions for you to make money, for you to have this, for you to model, for you. You ain't did shit like this ever in your fucking life, never. I put you in a position. And you went back and... Did whatever the fuck you did. I just feel like when you're angry, you should be quiet because because yo, you may not act on like real emotions. When you're angry, you may say some shit you don't mean, but I mean some shit could be true. But I feel like it's it's exaggerated. Like you know, you tell people you hate them when you're angry. You don't really hate them. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but you as a fucking sister, that is way across my, I don't care if you fucking I piss you off so bad that you turn it red 
You don't go back to nobody to report shit. That's you, my sister. We could fight before you do that. The fuck? That's insane. We could literally box before you go back and try to throw dirt on my name. Because now you look crazy. They looking at you like, why is you telling your sister business? I would never trust you. Now you, you just look stupid. You ruined it for everybody. That shit crazy. Cousins too. That shit lame. If you talking behind your people back, if you doing all that shit, you're lame as fuck. You need to go get your own motion. You need to do better. And then don't be trying to take the task that they taught you to do something. Go find using your own motion. The fuck? Shit irritating. You can't be like people. You can't be people. I built this shit up. You can fucking too. But with that fucking energy, you can't. Go heal. Go do something. Because that ain't it. The fuck? But yeah, <clears throat> I feel like fuck shit. Yeah, when you angry, shut up because you're just it's your emotions just coming out. You just saying anything or you're insecure, and you're and you're gonna regret it. Like people are gonna regret the shit that they said because they're like, damn, I didn't have to say that. Did that make the situation any better? Did it fix anything or did it? Like when you talk about people, especially like you said, like when the relationship is so close, it says way more about you than it does about them. Damn. Yes, because at our big age, people are gonna get their own opinions. They got good dis discernment. Yeah, like we're not in middle school no more. Yeah. Middle school, you can literally say anything Rumors. negative, and they're gonna be like, "Really? Oh yeah. my god, oh my god that bitch is a that's crazy!" crazy. And they're gonna run with that shit. When you get older, some people do that, but some people really be. They have discernment now, so they like. First of all, they're gonna listen to you talking about somebody you were so close with for so long. That they're gonna look at you like you're crazy because they're gonna be like, wait, if she was X, Y, and Z, why are you telling me? Why would you fuck with her? Right. For so long. Couldn't been that damn bad, right? Couldn't. Wasn't. <clears throat> it's just like those girls who break up with a nigga and be airing him out like he was this, he was that, and this nigga's broke. And then a week later, she back with the nigga. You look stupid as fuck. Don't ever embarrass your nigga until you completely done. For real. Because that shit. Mm -mm. You gonna wish you never even said nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the same goes for friends. But I feel like you will be so hurt that they say anything in the moment. And another thing is people don't like taking accountability for their actions. So when they fall out with somebody, the other person has to look like the villain. Like it can yes. never be. You they know, turn well, that shit around. Like I you did this. Shit, they you did, did this. Shit. But you did this. But you did this. You was like this. Okay, so why didn't you tell me then? Why when I'm expressing my feelings now you got feelings towards me? Excuse me. Why don't you tell me that? You grown as fuck. Why don't you communicate that? It's never like people are never wrong. Like I can honestly say I've lost friends and I specifically like I was the reason why the friendship ended and it was my bad, but like, shit, they ain't one of my friend no more. What I'm gonna do, girl. Shit happens. You but look, people I've fallen out with people and straight up told other people like oh what happened with you and so and so. Uh, I fucked up. Yeah. I made a mistake and um it just ended up never re rekindling to be honest. I'm cool with that. I'm not gonna say I'm be like, oh that bitch. No, I think about it. I'm trying to figure <clears> out what friendships I ended. Like with me doing something bad. Sometimes I'd rather take the villain role than sitting on and explaining to people yeah. all this extra shit. I like it I'm just sorry. makes me look weird. Like I don't even wanna keep I don't even wanna sit here and talk about the whole friendship. Like if they didn't tell you and you wasn't close enough to us to know the, the tea, I'm not gonna sit here and just air on my business. I'm airing on my business too. Right. So no. See, but I don't know. Like I I really can't think of a time where I, I wrong wrongfully did something, you know, like did something and somebody like stopped being friends with me. I'll really be the the cutter off. Me too, I'm the leader. So like for example, I had um I had two roommates at one point. Um these two girls I was really close with at a point in time. They were best friends. And then I was best friends with one of them. <clears throat> but we were all really cool. So we got like this little townhouse situation. And I had got in trouble with the with the boys. Hello. And they thought I was never, ever, ever coming home, was talking shit about me. And, and I was only gone for 10 hours, y'all, overnight. I came I came back to the crib the next day. How you know this up shit? Folks told me. Uh, they was Damn, like, in 10 hours? 
She was talking shit to her boyfriend. That's what the boyfriend told me. Oh. Your own boyfriend. Your own boyfriend was like, bro, I feel bad, bro. They was going in yesterday talking about this stupid ass bitch. She got locked up. She ain't gonna be able to pay pay her half of the rent. Rent is due in five days. But they was hoping I was gonna stay in jail for a whole to take me off the lease. So Even I then, my people got me like. So when folks told me they was in a group chat, they made a group chat like, hey, we need you to cash out the, the rent money. This was like four days before rent was due. I said, what day are you guys paying it? Mind you, I have the money. I'm just playing along because I just want to see if I just my see gonna be real. Say, yeah. Nope, they, well, we just wanted to make sure because that is. I was a stupid bitch though. So Stop lying. Same so here's your rent money. Also, I'm going up to the lease and we'll to take my name off the lease. You guys can figure out the rent amongst yourselves for the rest of the term of the lease. And um, I don't fuck with y'all no more. Y'all weird and fake. Just and your nigga told me. Yeah, and your man told me because he knows that I'm a real bitch and I never crossed you and I never did nothing wrong to you. So there's that. Walked out on the whole situation. Deuces, bitches. That could be my friend again. We're so sorry. Yeah. Now, it's certain shit that you say that you can't come back from. I will never look at you the same. Ever, 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 ever in this lifetime. So if I was in a fucked up situation and you want to put me down even further and tell the streets my business and all this stuff and then it didn't even transpire that way you was actually putting evil out on me hoping i was going to stay in a fucked up position no look at you now i hope i hope she gets off you know what i'm saying like i hope you know that it, she probably gonna be in that bitch till this is uh not gonna be able to okay 10 hours later <laughs> spongebob voice because what bitch? honey i'm home mind you Aaliyah know me. I be going all day. I be going 10 hours anyway. Right. A regular fucking day. Right. And y'all talking shit already. Okay, cool. And you thought I wasn't going to get out? I ain't commit no fucking real yeah, crime. Yeah, no, I was really wrongfully arrested. I got released the next day. Not even. Overnight. I woke up in the morning at 8 a.m. It was over. So, for me, it's like... I have like a certain thing with me, like I'm I'm a really good friend to my friends, like I really fuck with them. So when shit like that happens, I just be like, you're done. It just See, put they, a bad okay, taste yeah. in my mouth. That's my thing, though. Like that goes for like friendships and relationships, <clears throat> like with men too, because it's like one thing <laughs> will fuck up every Judge Judy. Thing. Doom, doom, doom. Excuse me, but like it's literally one like a girl could show me. Uh, attitude is cool. Like, you know, you just gonna have yeah. attitude. You can have attitude, you grow your eyes with girls. I just be like, I don't wanna do it right now. We, we just not gonna, we gonna, you gonna get you some food, you gonna be straight, whatever. Cause girls, they, be, they be hangry. Attitude. They be hangry. That's cool. We can get into it. I got attitude with you. I don't think so. I mm -hmm. should be hungry sometimes. I'm like, babe, we gotta eat for our gotta eat for like somebody. And I'll be right with you. We should have ate 10 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me using 10 hours. Where did I get that from? But then, um, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I cannot come back from that. I can't. Like, I would literally, I'm always the person who's just like, nah, this shit dead. I'm sorry. Like, if I can hear something from off the street, you won't even know why I cut you off. You'll just be blocked mm -hmm. immediately. And they go, why the fuck would you block me? You know why. Let me give y'all a great example. It's like when you just bought a perfect, or you got a perfect crisp white tea, right? And it's perfect. I mean, not a wrinkle, not a stain, nothing. And you you catch up on it. Yeah, big ass fucking stain on it. This it's will done. never be the same. I can't wash it. When Air Forces get dirty, yeah. throw them away. I can't. When your friends get dirty, throw them away. It's not, we're not coming back from this. It's not. It's time for a new shirt. It's, yeah. it's okay. We're gonna don't put them right. shoes in the washing machine. Shit not cool. People don't understand. Like, yeah, you're Throw valuable, down. but you're also replaceable, especially if you easy to fuck up. Yeah. Then people go, oh, you go through friends like this. You better no, I'm not gonna be fake with people. Y'all be having a million friends because y'all play the game along and y'all be fake too. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna pretend with nobody. I will have one friend before I have five. I do not give a fuck. You got five fake friends that's gonna leave you for dead and you got one friend that's gonna help you. I'd rather stay with one. I'd rather have one. Cause bitch, you not I'm not gonna be acting like giving all my energy to you and not receiving shit from you. Mm -hmm. Now we grown. Like high school was whatever. You could have been all. You could do all this shit. Be nice to people. It's not draining you. Not you. You know. 
As soon as you get in a real world and you got people around you that's not benefiting and they just taking from you, you drain. You got to work. You got to feed yourself. You got to keep yourself up. Maintenance has a woman that is crazy as fuck. You think middle school and high school was hard. No, we just learning how to get shit done. Mm -hmm. Now, your, your vagina changed. <laughs> in your 20s, your vagina changed like 10 <laughs> times. I swear to God. This, it don't, it don't, it's literally like, people are like, oh, that's little. Maintenance to a human body I can't give no more energy out to fake yeah. people. I'm sorry. Like I gotta be gaining something back. You draining me. You draining me. You hate me. Why do you why are you around? <laughs> why the fuck are you around? If you always negative, if you don't like me, I feel like I will literally cut somebody off if they're not excited to see me. I swear to God. I <laughs> I'm that fucking petty. If I see you, you're not like, Leah! <laughs> I'm not being around you. I'm sorry. I'm going where I'm celebrated because there's people like Taylor who's going to run and I'm going to jump and she's going to catch me. <laughs> like, the fuck? I'm not going to play with y'all. I don't like that. It's I don't like true. that. You only want your man to do that. It's the same thing with everything. Everybody. Like, anytime I see somebody, I'm like, Ooh. You want to be excited to see people. Yeah. When you Say if your nigga come home, he like... Girl, like, just imagine walking in the house and your man mad when you come yeah. home. That's like when you little and you, your mom come home and you ain't cleaning the house. Mm -hmm. You're going to be sad. Mm -hmm. You're going to be mad. See? I'm not hanging around no bitch that's not excited to see me. Fuck that. If you're not inviting me, even though I know Taylor, she lived far, so this is not her fault. But I'm going to invite Taylor, whether I know she's going to come or not. Some shit I really know, I'm like, Taylor's not coming. And I just ask anyway. Because it's the invitation that is appreciated. Mm -hmm. Literally. She gonna tell me, like, I'm not coming. And I told her, I communicated that with her. Like, if you're not coming, just tell me. Because I'm not, you know, people don't want to plan around you coming and then you don't come. That's gonna make me feel away. Sometimes I live so far. Sometimes I'll be like, I gotta get dressed. I'm like, Lord, it's, it's over. Yeah. I gotta take a journey. She just went with me today, so she knows now. Yeah, but, I got an idea. But that's because I, I feel you now. Because I used to live in Grayson and people be like, why you not coming out? I'm like, y'all don't understand. Because I already get ready. That's two hours. Mm -hmm. Driving the car, that's another. You got to stop getting gas. That's another 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You there. Think about the ride back at 4 o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I get supersonic energy surges. And other times I'm like, I'm about to clean this damn. I'm about to shit. get a hotel. Yeah. Yeah. At this point. But. We fixed the next thing to come in the school. But. You know, fuck with who you actually, it's so easy. Like, it's so funny that like, when people don't really fuck with each other like that, you could just stop speaking to them for like three days in a row. And guess what? Y'all might never speak again in life. Yeah. Like it's, you don't even have to have a fold out. Like you literally could fall back. Yeah. Fall, fall back. Fall back out of my fucking life. Yep. It'll You'll see exactly. If your absence don't bother them, you don't need to be around them. Cause if you go missing for three days, one or two is like, okay. Even Maybe. one or two is like, hello. Yeah. Dude. You ain't at work. Like, what's going on? At least a TikTok or so, like memes. You got. You got to send me some. You like, constantly. I'm sending memes yeah. all day. Like Instagram. Cool. Okay, Taylor don't always answer the phone, but I know she'll be alive because she'll send shit <laughs> on Instagram. Like, I'm at work. Oh, Instagram. Ah, this is so, so funny. funny. Right. Exactly. So it, it should be anything, any type of communication. And I was just reading that. It's called cultivating your relationships. You mm -hmm. want to give and receive. So when you give, you give effort. You call them. You invite people. You know, you speak to them. You make the effort to see them again. And every time you meet somebody that you like, they might change your life. They may be the best person you ever met in your entire life. So when you meet somebody, even if it's at the club or something, get their number and make the effort to see them again. That's what I read. I was like, that's fucking that's true, true as fuck. And one thing I've always learned, like, people have always said to me, like, oh, you're always making a new friend. I'm like, well, the old ones is in the same fuck. They can't strengthen our relationship. That's We're what I'm saying. People memories. get... We're right. not... Like, me and Aaliyah have gotten closer than friends I've had for years. Because, like she said, people don't make the effort to the be a friend. It's the effort. It's the like, effort. Like, the energy you put in is the energy you, you get back. Yeah. The, yeah. That's why I'm like, I cannot. I think the only other person I ever spent 14 days with straight, like my cousin or something. And not yes, even by You got to, yeah. This is like, we're cousins. You have to. See, I can't, I don't, people, and then I, I recycle people a lot too. Like, not recycle, <laughs> but it's like, 
I go through people. Like you said, you make new friends. Mm -hmm. I literally go through people. You got to see what people are about. Like, these people can bring shit to the table. They may be smarter than you. Mm -hmm. I done met people in my building. Like, this lady, she's, like, 40. Mm -hmm. But when I tell you she got the best energy, she's always, like, on her shit. She, like, she always, like, saying she proud of me. A lot of people, younger people, don't do that. Mm -hmm. So, you can have friends of all ages. Keep Make friends. Yeah. Make friends and cut people off. Yeah. Shit, replace them. Yeah, replace them. You can have a lot of friends, but make sure it's the good ones, like. And if you feel in your soul something about somebody, it's true. Don't don't second guess it. Don't be like, you know, I'ma just no. Don't rock with it because that might be the person to kill you. It's that simple. Yeah, it's now y'all seen Selena. Y'all seen all the movies. Like it'd be the person right next to the person. Right next to you. They keep their enemies close. Mm -hmm. Very close. There's always a protagonist in the story, and then that antagonist, and it's the secret antagonist, the person that doesn't like you, and you don't even know why. Yeah, no. They're idea. closer than your shadow, and it's like, what? You hate me? You hate me? What did I do to you? But <laughs> you just used my lip gloss yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> How you hate me? We just, we just came back from Miami. I should have landed on my couch, goddamn. <laughs> you just asked me for play the other day. Well, I just picked you up from the airport. And <laughs> to be honest, and that's why I like people who make it known that they don't like me because it's so clear. Thank like, you. Okay, I could just stay away from you. Like, that, that's, 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 that's fair. fair. That's, that is fair. That is the perfect place. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. But, you do not have to like me. Like, I didn't come on the world, come in the world for everyone to like me. That's cool. But if you hate me and you're just near me, yeah. studying me, like, that's crazy. and disgusted with me every, like, but then I say, you know, people don't really hate you. They just want to be you and they can't. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if it's like an obsession thing or like if it's like... Why is so confusing? No, but seriously, it's very confusing and that's why they call it a snake because, you know... Snakes are confusing. Snakes have to come very close to you to like, like attack. see you and yeah, attack you. And they have to literally like be slithering right near you to size you up, to get familiar with you, to devour you. So I think that's why people call them snakes, cause it's like, like they they be acting all cool and friendly, and it's no big problem. Before you know, a niggas done size you up. Mm. They know everything about you, head to toe, how to get you. you know they know your how to drain your weakness. Think about it, a snake wraps around as many times as it can and squeezes the life out of you. Yeah, little stuff. People do that. People do that. Swallow you whole before you even know that you're in the belly of the beast. Or they take your personality. That's super, super scary. People take your personality. They start doing shit like you and they don't, they don't like you. But they just like the mannerism, so they pick it up. And then y'all not cool no more. And then you got somebody walking around acting like you. Heebie jeebies. That's the crazy like shit in the world. Like you, took, you took my whole personality and ran with it. I know a lot of people like that. Like, it's one thing to be goofy with your friend and y'all make inside jokes and shit, but you literally have my mannerisms. This is one girl took my whole wardrobe. Like, literally. Like, everything you do. Yeah. Like, everything. Everything. Ah, whew. Didn't give a, like, didn't give a flying fuck. <laughs> no, like, I had a girl like that who would just copy everything I do. Do you know the movie The Roommate? When she was, like, dressed like her and stuff? Uh-uh. We gotta watch it. I'm gonna show Leah that movie. But if y'all remember, it came out in, like, 2015. 14 maybe and the girl was dressing like her to the point where she went to fuck with her boyfriend because she felt like everybody liked her and she was pretty and her boyfriend loved her and right they look they look similar they have the same hair color but eventually she started doing her makeup like her and dressing like her she came home one day and the bitch just tried to kill her that's the devil and she's like i'm just gonna replace you like and, and honestly can't. i feel like some people feel like that like they're gonna try to replace you. They're gonna try they're trying to replace you. They they want to be in your exact position and you you could look like life. me, you could do everything like me. You're just not gonna be me. It's never gonna happen. It's not. Sorry. You don't have the same story as me, you don't got the energy, the power like me. Bitches can't move shit like I move shit. In physical and spiritual. Both realms. Fuck. It's like a recipe, like it's never gonna be as good as the original. Yeah. Like or like when your mom makes something mm -hmm. and it's good. When you try, you try to make it, it, that shit don't be working. And it's like, all right, it's this me shit like stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like, what did you do? What did I do wrong? And even when people food be good as hell, like one macaroni be good and other macaroni be buzzing, but it don't taste nothing, nothing alike. Like. 
it fills you up the same, but it's not the same because it's like you're looking for that specific taste. So, you know, if you want to still your flavor. Y'all all in the Kool-Aid, you don't even know the flavor. It's blue raspberry. <laughs> and you 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 acting like the blue Jolly Rancher. <laughs> I'm just saying this yeah, at this point, I'm tired. But we're going to wrap it up. And I'm going to leave it with the cultivating your relationships, giving and receiving, and going with your intuition. Yeah, but on, yeah. A, on a positive, more positive note, like, you know, just like, like Leah said, use your discernment. Watch who you bring around. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to how people fuck with you. Learn people's love things. Like how you feel when you leave that person. Yeah. Are you drained? Are you happy? You want to see them again very soon? Are you making plans for the next time you guys see each other? What's the energy? Is it refreshing? Yeah. You can tell all that from one link. Literally. Are you tired? Do you want to go sleep really, really bad and meet somebody? Not because y'all guys went to Six Flags and had a fucking blast. Or it's because yeah, literally the conversation and energy is like nasty. Yeah. You know? But yeah. I mean, shit. Everything happens for a reason. People gonna move in and out your life. Don't pay attention to what people say. Like, oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do whatever the f you want to. Whatever brings you joy. If you want to talk to that person, you happy about it. Do that. If your friend ugly and she cool, be your friend. <laughs> shit, I don't know what to say. But thanks for watching our video. Um, I'm gonna put my subscribe link here. Some video here and some video here. I don't know which one it's going to be at. But, yeah. Y'all going to see. And we're just going to close it out like that. Bye, guys.